You like the video within five seconds, or you're gonna airball a wide open shot with your takeover. I would not risk it. Speed boost right here, Mike Jamin. Very well, green. Dang. Tony Allen said that first. Yo, what's good, Lock em Up Nation? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to speed boost after patch 12. First of all, the videos on those three clips will all be in the description. So. You're in quarantine, man. You might as well binge watch my videos. If you're new, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications. And if you've been with me, binge watch anyway. You're in quarantine too. All right, so remember, this is a speed boosting tutorial, not a dribble combo tutorial. This is all about how to speed boost. If you wanna know some simple ISO moves, Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I do plan on doing that. Now, the first way, number one, the easiest way, hold LT or L2 if you're placing. You can get in the post. You know how to get in the post. Go in the direction that your body is facing. Let go of LT and hold R2. And you get a decent little speed boost. It's not going to be as fast for me because I'm a guard. I mean, these are decent speed boosts, I guess. But centers can do this, y'all. Centers can speed boost out of the post. They've been able to do it for pretty much ever. So make sure your center knows how to do this. This is deadly on the two. Really effective. And I recommend they learn how to do it. And even if you're a guard, like let's say you're running out of stamina, right? You're holding LT so you don't lose the ball. And the defenders, the other defenders, they are in the passing so you can't pass it. So you you want to get a little bit of stamina, and then you can speed boost and get an easy dunker layup. The second way to do it is you know how to go between the legs, right? The ball is in my right hand, so I'm going to go flick down left corner on the right stick. Just like that. Left hand, so now it's going to be down right corner on the right stick. That's how you go between the legs. So now you go between the legs, hold R2 or R2, up left on the left stick. That's how you speed boost out of the between the legs. Simple as that. You can do it on this side too. That wasn't as good of a speed boost. For some reason, I don't get really good speed boost in the mic. Or I get way better speed boost in game. I have no idea why that is. Now, another way you can do it is just flick left, do a crossover. Flick right, do a crossover. And then up left. Simple as that. Same thing, opposite direction. Bam. You can also do this out of the behind the back, which is by simply flicking down the right stick. That's it. Oh. That's literally it. But down the right stick, and same thing as before. That's honestly my favorite thing to speed boost out of. I think the behind the back it's the best speed boost. Plus, when you're doing standing size ups, let's say he's pressing, you can't do a crossover because it's going to be a bump steal. But you're not going to get a bump steal like this. So if he's pressing, you can just go boom. And get around him just like that. Yeah, notice I'm getting the best speed boost out of that. That's another reason why I like it. I feel like I get the best speed boost out of that. Now another way. Like let's say you're faking the drive. You do a pullback. You like that? Huh? <laughs> That's very common. What I... I be biting on it sometimes, so like it's a bad habit. People want to be right up on you the whole time. So you can just do a pullback, and then they'll come up to you because they don't want to see you shoot the jump shot. So that's when you can just speed boost right past them, and there's literally nothing they can do about it. That being said, I gotta stop doing that. Now, let's say you crossed here already. He's gonna expect you to go right. You guys should go in and out and speed boost out of that. It's not the greatest move in the world, but they're not going to always expect it, you know? And it's very simple. All you got to do for an in and out, hold RT or R2 and flick up on the right stick. That's literally it. And you can even... 
I don't even know why I did that. I can go momentum between, and you can speed boost out of that. I just really messed that up. It's because I didn't. What you got? Another thing is, you don't want to just. I failed to mention. It's probably why I'm not getting good speed boost. You don't want to go too fast, but you don't want to go too slow. But you just gotta let your player. You know, you gotta set your feet to shoot. You gotta let your player set himself. Bam. See? I saw it and I didn't try to go right away. And he got the best speed boost as a result. It's really not hard to speed boost, y'all. So I really want this to work for everyone watching this video. It is not hard. And I want to hear all about how you're speed boosting yourself open for three, how you're speed boosting to get to the rim. I want to hear all that because none of the moves I showed in this video are hard. They are all very easy. Not more than two or three flicks, mostly. So, yeah. Here's some videos on the end screen. Here's a glitchy reverse behind the back tutorial. And some random video that might be best for you or a recent upload. Whatever. But I recommend clicking one of those videos. I will see you there or I will see you on the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and like the video. Road to 5K. I'm out. Peace.